hey y'all what's up welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome to my channel i am nikisha wise and y'all i got a story for y'all this is most likely going to help a lot of y'all today okay if you are looking for your kingdom spouse or if you're ready to find your kingdom spouse or however you want to put it this may be the very reason why they haven't came to you yet or you haven't found them or whatever your kingdom husband or your kingdom wife okay so I got this revelation this morning and last night so I had two different breakthroughs okay prior to this which was like three days ago now I kept getting this intuitive nudge to and this this voice in my in my spirit just kept saying throw away this person's old letters the person that the spirit was talking about is my old, my high school sweetheart from back in the day you know it was him and I kept saying, I thought I threw those away. I kept saying, I thought I threw those away. But I kept hearing, go throw those letters away. Go throw these this person's letters away. I'm trying not to say his name, okay? Because I don't want his name, you know, out here or whatever. And so I decided to go in my closet yesterday, right? And when I went in my closet, I, I had like a little box and stuff up in there. I have like little storage items and things like that. And I kept hearing pink box go to the pink box it could have saved me so much extra time because the pink box is right there but i i first decided to look in a shoe box in which that box is not pink and it had no letters in it y'all and then i went ahead and grabbed this box this box is a box that i have had ever since i was around 12 to 14 years old okay i used to put things in this box like let's say let's say i went to a parade or something and I want to remember that day because it was fun or something, I would take something from the parade, like a little keepsake, and I would put it in this box, you know, for memories. And so I, I get my box and I look in it and I kind of open a few, a couple of the letters and I'm like, okay, this is what the Lord is talking about. It's definitely some old letters up in here. And so I don't know why, but I went ahead and looked through a few more boxes. <laughs> And it wasn't no more letters because the Lord specifically said pink box. He did not say all those other boxes, but I don't know why we do that sometimes. But anyway, best to be safe than sorry. <laughs> but anyway, so yesterday I finally decided because I, I didn't want to open. I didn't want to read them at first, in which I didn't read all of them. I just skimmed through them. But yesterday I finally decided to, um, to open it and skim through them and things like that. And I found you know some information in there and things like that and I then I decided to throw them away I ripped them up and threw them away and then I actually found like a keepsake from one of his football games I used to go to and I'm like why do I even then I, it came to my realization like why do I even still got this like I thought I <laughs> I thought I gave this stuff and threw this stuff away and then I found like a sketch like a, a sketch picture of us or whatever from when we went to a festival or something like that and I threw that away and y'all I'm telling y'all when I did that I felt I felt like a cleanse or something I felt like a something just lifted up off of me and, and I could feel it it just felt I just felt better and so after that I laid down you know after I got through the work and things like that I went ahead and laid down I went to sleep as soon as I woke up this morning, I, I had had a dream about an old best friend of mine too. So as soon as I woke up this morning, I thought about uh, what somebody had said. And so I said these words, I said, I release, I put, put my ex-boyfriend name in this. I release you, blah, 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 in the name of Jesus, amen. And when I said that y'all, I seen a chain break and I heard it break. I seen it like I seen it break and then I heard it say pink and then I was like wow and y'all that's why I, I don't know I just feel amazing I just feel like what I told y'all the Lord is always wowing me like I am never not impressed about the things that he he does and he gets us to do it's always so fascinating to me and it just let me know it just let me it gave me the answer to a lot of the, the questions I had had like for instance, why does this guy pop up in my dreams sometimes still, even after being redeemed, you know, after being delivered? Like, why did, Why is he still popping up? This was a long time ago type of deal. So that was why. And once I did that, it broke the chain, the, the, the last little piece of chain that was left. I was like, wow, y'all. 
And this could be the reason why a lot of us don't have our kingdom spouse yet. If y'all have old, like, clothes from them and y'all know y'all over them people and, you know, if you have old letters, y'all throw that stuff away and release them in the name of Jesus, okay? Because that worked. That was just amazing to me. I had to come on here and tell y'all about this. Um... And I was, and then, and then he told me to tell you, tell y'all that y'all may not have fully broken the soul tie yet. This is the words that that was told to me, and he said, "God is waiting on on you. You're not waiting on him, and to cut all loose ends." Okay, so this could be the reason. You know, I just want to come on here and tell y'all about this. Like I'm still like I am, y'all. I'm. That just hyped me up today. I'm about to get a lot of stuff done today, all because of this. I love to see God move, and I love to see Him work, and I love when I be obedient. When He, when I be obedient, He like shows me that I did the right thing, and He then He like y'all. I'm speechless. I'm at a loss for words a little bit, but y'all, this was my box back when I was a kid, and I threw. I still got a few things up in here, you know, but it's stuff from when I was with my grandmother and all that stuff now so if he tell me to throw that out then i just throw it out but he didn't say that so y'all keep that in mind okay um think about these things what may be holding you back or maybe holding your spouse back because honestly you don't want um your kingdom spouse to come in and y'all move in together after you married and stuff and you still got a box full of some man's or some woman's stuff like no he don't want that you wouldn't want that either right so I don't know if he was if he gonna send them this year. I don't care when it is, but or what whatever the case may be, I could I could be one of those people that just never get married. But I'm not speaking that. But we'll see. But I just wanted to tell y'all about that today. I love y'all so much, and y'all be good. God bless y'all. Bye.